What causes yeast infections in women? Here we will explore some lesser known causes. 1. Condoms. In two different ways, condoms are known to cause vaginal yeast infections in women, those who are allergic to the latex in condoms, and the lubricant in condoms that contain nonoxinol 9. Nonoxinol 9 is a spermicidal used in lubes and foams that has been linked to causing yeast infections in women, as well as bladder infections. By washing away the natural layer of skin that protects the vagina from germs, nonoxinol 9 is an avoidable choice as not all condom lube foam manufacturers use this ingredient. Women who complain about getting yeast infections often after protected sex can usually narrow down nonoxinol 9 as the cause. As far as latex condoms go, plastic types are also available. 2. Hormones Artificial and natural hormones can affect yeast. Oral contraceptives are a primary cause of vaginal yeast infections in women in their 20s and early 30s. Women during their period may find temporary reprieve from a yeast infection as yeast does not like the pH of menstrual blood. Don't be fooled however, once the period ceases to be, some women on oral contraceptives are prone to monthly yeast infections. Hormonal replacement therapy is another cause to be aware of. Hormonal fluctuations can and will affect yeast as well as cortisone-related medications such as prednisone and steroid. 3. Injury Damage to the vaginal area can lead to a yeast infection and it is usually attributed to too much friction during sex without enough lubrication. Be aware of this because there are products like KY Jelly available to prevent this. 4. Pregnancy It is possible to have a yeast infection and get pregnant. The overgrowth of Candida albicans in the vagina will not kill sperm. So if you are ovulating, and have unprotected sex you may get pregnant. Pregnant women are more apt to get yeast infections and some say this is due to a woman's immune system being suppressed at this time in order to protect the developing fetus. If this didn't occur during pregnancy, it is possible your body would see the fetus as a foreign body which would need to be attacked and eliminated. When the immune system is suppressed, Candida albicans may take advantage of the situation and grow out of control. This may manifest into a vaginal yeast infection. If you are prone to developing yeast infections when you are not pregnant then you may be a good candidate to develop them when pregnant. 5. Sexual Transmission Contrary to some opinions, not unlike STDs Candida can be transmitted from partner to partner. Men who have yeast infections may not show symptoms so it is possible to unknowingly reinfect. A woman who has had recent treatment for a yeast infection, since the infection can keep getting passed back and forth, both partners should complete treatment before resuming sexual activity. 6. Weakened Immune System Immune systems weakened by HIV, thyroid disease, autoimmune diseases and the like are at risk for chronic vaginal yeast infections. Taking immune system suppressing drugs can also be at risk for a yeast infection. Women must be aware of the many ways they are at risk of developing a yeast infection. Better awareness can definitely be a plus in prevention for what causes yeast infections in women. As more women are prone to drug resistance by using traditional fungal medications for cure. For more information how to cure yeast infections in women, click the link below this video.